Okay, so I kept repeating round 11 until my work measured 8 inches from the bottom all the way up to the top, okay? And so now I'm just going to join with a slip stitch, join my round, and then I'm going to act like I'm going to chain one, but then I'm just going to pull my yarn all the way through to fasten off, okay? Okay, so we are now completed with the basket. Okay, so now all we have to do is weave in these yarn tails and we will be finished with our the basket portion, okay? So let's go on to the next part where we're going to work on the ears. Now we're going to go down to uh, working with only one strand of yarn at a time. We have been doing it where we were uh, holding two yarn strand strands together, but now we're going to just do a single strand and we're also going to be working with our smaller hook okay and we are going to start with the color that we've chosen for our inner ear i'm doing this pink okay and uh we're going to work on the ears so we're going to take our inner ear color and we are going to uh, connect it onto our hook with a slip stitch okay and we are going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Okay, we're going on to the first row. We are going to do one single crochet in the second chain from hook, uh, from the hook. And then we're going to do one single crochet all the way across. So, working in the second chain from the hook we're just going to do one single crochet okay and then in each remaining chain we're going to do one single crochet so we should have a total of nine single crochets all the way across our row okay so I have one two three four five six seven eight oops and nine okay so we have nine single crochets across okay going on to row two we're going to chain one and turn okay and then for rows two three and four we're just gonna do uh, we're not going to be doing any increasing or decreasing we're just going to do one single crochet in each single crochet across still keeping with the uh, stitch count of nine and at the each at each end we'll chain one and turn our work okay and then we so we're going to do this is this right here is going to be row two and so we're going to do rows two three and four the same way just doing nine single crochets across at the end we will chain one and turn our work okay and so i'm going to finish up my uh, rows this is row two so i'm going to finish up this one and then rows three and four and i will meet you when i uh, finish row four okay okay so i've got to the end of round four i'm going to chain one and turn my work and then going on to round five round five it says uh, to single crochet in the first four stitches so one two three and four okay and then in the fifth stitch we're going to do two single crochets so one and two in the same stitch and then we're going to single crochet in the last four stitches one two three and four okay and that will increase our stitch our stitch count to 10 stitches across I'm going to chain one and turn going on to round six we are going to just do one single crochet in each stitch across now we have 10 stitches across and we're going to do that chain one and turn at the end of each round and we're going to do that for round for rows six seven and eight okay just doing 10 stitches across for those three rows six seven and eight and i will meet you up at the end of row 10. i mean sorry <laughs> at the end of row eight <laughs> okay so i just finished row eight and i'm going to chain one and turn my work and going on to row nine we're going to um, 
single crochet into the first stitch and then in the second stitch we're going to do two single crochets one and two and then we're going to single crochet in each single crochet across until we have two stitches left okay so let's do that all the way across Okay, so now I have two stitches left, and so in the next stitch I'm going to do two single crochets in that one stitch, okay? And then I'm going to do one single crochet in the last stitch, okay? So we should now have a stitch count of 12 single crochets all the way across our work. Okay, now the next part of the instructions on the written pattern, it says to repeat the ninth row until you reach three uh, into your pieces three inches well that is a typo because I did that <laughs> and my piece kept getting larger and I knew that that was not the shape of an ear <laughs> so what you should do is just uh, chain one and turn your work okay and then just do one single crochet in each stitch across keeping it the stitch count at 12 stitches okay don't repeat row nine you're actually repeating row eight I, I, I would guess except that you have 12 stitches across okay so anyway just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across until your work measures three inches from bottom to top measuring you know this way <laughs> okay and I will meet you up when my work is measuring three inches okay okay so I just kept working on my piece until my piece reached three inches from top to bottom okay I uh, just doing one single crochet in each stitch across now I'm going to chain one and turn my work and now I'm going to start shaping the top of my inner ear I'm going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then I'm going to do a single crochet two together in the next two stitches so I'm going to insert my hook draw up a loop in from the first stitch and then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and draw up a loop I have three uh, loops on my hook and now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three so that is a two single crochets together okay now I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch across until I have three stitches remaining okay at the end of my row okay now I have three stitches remaining so I'm going to do another two single crochets together so insert my hook into the next stitch draw up a loop insert my hook into the next stitch draw up a loop and then yarn over and draw through all three loops on your hook and then do one single crochet in the very last stitch okay chain one and turn okay now I'm going on to the second row of the top shaping and it's you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across okay so you should have 10 single crochets in your row right now okay just do one single crochet across chain one and turn okay now I'm going for rows three four and five I am going to repeat the first uh, row of this uh, top shaping where I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch okay and then do a two single crochets together in the next two stitches okay and then single crochet across until you have three stitches at the end of your row left to work into yeah, like that and then you're gonna do two single crochets together and then one single crochet into the last stitch okay so that was row three of the shaping so I'm not gonna repeat I'm going to repeat that row two more times for row four and row five of the shaping starting with a chain one and turning our work okay and so I will meet you up when we when I do those two rows and at the end of those two rows you should only have four stitches across on your work okay I'll meet you up when I get two more rows done 
Okay, so I just did those two rows, repeating that decreasing uh, row, and I ha now have four stitches across my piece. I'm going to chain one and turn. The next row, I'm going to do uh, two single crochets together. I'm going to do that twice, okay? So I'm going to do two single crochet together in the first two stitches, see? And have two left over, two stitches left over. So I'm going to do that again, do two single crochets together. And that'll take up the last two stitches. And now we should only have two stitches across, okay? Chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to do a two single crochet together one more time in those two remaining stitches. Okay? So that got that gets us to the top of the ear. Okay, so we're not going to fasten off yet. Now we're going to... Um, continue going around our ear and we're just going to do a single crochet all the way around our ear and end up um, where we began and then we will slip stitch into that stitch to um, fasten off okay so I'm just going to start working down my the side okay and I try to just kind of evenly space my single crochets going down the edge it just gives a nice um, edge finish to the uh, edges. <laughs> okay. Just like that, see? So I'm just working my way down the ear. And like I said, try to do it kind of evenly, like one single crochet at the end of each row. Working my way down the ear okay and then when I get down to the corner stitch in there <laughs> there oops try that again okay when I get down to the corner I'm going to do uh, two single crochets into that same stitch okay and that's going to help me turn the corner and now I'm going to work across the bottom and then when I get to this corner I'm going to do two single crochets in that corner that helps me turn the corner to go back up and then I work my way back up this side and then when I get to the very top I will slip stitch into that first stitch so I'm going to go ahead and continue working around my ear and then I will meet you up when I get back up to the top again okay so I've made my way all the way around my ear and now I'm going to just slip stitch in my very first um, single crochet of the round just like that okay now I'm ready to fasten off so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that but go ahead and leave a long a tail I'd like to pull out extra yarn lay it down and then I just kind of lay my yarn all the way around my piece okay loosely like that give me a little extra and then I'll take my scissors and I will cut this off and I'm, we're going to use this tail to stitch the inner ear to the outer ear okay so now I'm going to just pull my yarn through just like that okay and so like I said I'll use this tail to sew um, the inner ear to the outer ear okay so now we're gonna go on to oh and then so uh, go ahead and uh, you can uh, reverse the video here and make a second one of these because you need two of the inner ears and two of the outer ears okay so now uh, when you're ready come back and we will go on to the outer ear okay so now we're going to go on to work working on our outer ear and it is worked almost exactly like the inner ear but we start off with more stitches so let's attach our yarn we're still just doing a single strand of yarn now to our uh, same hook that we used for the inner ear and we attach it with a slip stitch a slip knot okay now I'm going to chain 16 no I'm sorry 
Now I'm going to chain 14. <laughs> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, slip a uh, single crochet in the second chain from hook. Okay, and then I'm going to do one single crochet in each chain all the way across. And we should have a total of 13 single crochets. Okay, so I just finished row one. I just have, I, I, you should have 13 single crochets all the way across. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Going on to row two and uh, and actually it's going to be rows two through four. We're going to just do uh, one single crochet in each stitch all the way across and we should stay with 13 single crochets okay for our stitch count and we're going to do this for rows two, three, and four and remember to chain one and turn at the end of each row and I will meet you up when I get to the end of row four. Okay, so I just finished row four. I still have a stitch count of 13 stitches all the way across. So now I'm gonna chain one and turn my work and going on to row five. In row five, we're going to do an increase row and we're going to do one single crochet each in the first six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, and then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the last six stitches, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, chain one, turn our work. So now we should have. 14 stitches all the way across okay so now for rows six seven and eight we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across okay and then of course you do chain one and turn at the end of each row and so i will meet you up when i get to the end of row eight okay okay so i just finished row eight and let's Let's go on to row nine. I'm going to chain my chain one and turn my work and then on to row nine. It says one single crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to do two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two. And then we're going to do one single crochet all the way across in each stitch, one in each stitch, <laughs> all the way across until we get to the last two stitches, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so now I have two stitches left in the second to the last stitch. I'm going to do uh, two single crochets into that stitch, one and two. And then in the last stitch, I'm going to just do one single crochet. Okay, chain, chain one and turn our work. Okay, okay, so now you should have a stitch count of 16 stitches all the way across. Okay. And so now we're going to, there is another typo just like before because it, it said to repeat the ninth row. And if you did that, which was an increased row, the one we just did, your piece would grow real wide. And so then we don't want that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Uh, just like we did row six through eight. Okay, but we're just going to do one uh, stitch in each stitch across chain one at the end and turn and we're going to keep doing that until the piece will measure three and a half inches from top um, from the bottom to the top okay three and a half inches and so i'm going to get going on mine and i will meet you up when my piece measures three and a half inches and you should still have 16 stitches all the way across Okay, so now my, my piece measures three and a half inches from bottom to top. Okay, so I'm ready to now do the decreasing to uh, uh, shape the tip of the ear. So I'm going to chain one and turn. Okay, and so what we're going to do now 
it's the first shaping row we're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to do just like we did the inner ear we're going to do one uh, single crochet two together okay and then we're going to single crochet one stitch in each stitch all the way across until we have three stitches left on the row Okay, and now we're going to do two single crochet together in the next two stitches to do a decrease, and then now we're going to do one single crochet into the last stitch. Okay, chain one and turn our work. Okay, so now we're going to keep doing that decrease row. We're going to repeat what, just what we did, and we're going to do that until we have a total of only four stitches. Okay, it's because each row that you do you will decrease by two stitches so right now we had 16 stitches now we have 14 stitches across okay so we'll keep doing that until we have four stitches across okay and I will meet you up when I have four stitches okay okay so I now have only four stitches across the top of my outer ear piece I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to go ahead and finish up um, I'm going to do a single crochet two together two times to get across the row so there's the first time and then one more time single crochet two together and now we have two stitches across the top chain one and turn our work and then we're going to do single crochet two together one more time and that will um, finish off the tip of the ear okay so and before fastening off now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the the um the inner ear we're going to single crochet all the way down the side when we get down to this corner we're going to do two single crochets to help us turn the corner and then we will single crochet across the bottom uh, you can work over this tail all the your beginning tail and we're going to single crochet all the way back up and then when we get to the end we're going to uh, slip stitch when we get back to the top we're going to slip stitch into this uh, uh, tip of the ear of this stitch and then fasten off okay so I'm gonna get going and uh, start crocheting around my ear okay all the way around the edges and you work on yours and then I will meet you up when I get ready to fasten off okay so I just single crocheted all the way around my piece and I got up to the top and I slip stitched into my beginning stitch okay the, at the top of the ear okay so now I'm going to just fasten off okay and I'm going to just pull my yarn through to fasten off and then of course I will be weaving in my tail okay and then so I'm going to take my inner ear piece that I made and I'm just going to center it onto my outer piece okay and you can take your pen, straight pens, if you want to uh, put some pens in it to hold it, uh, hold it in place where you're wanting it. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my yarn needle and go ahead and um, yarn up my needle here with my long tail that I left on the inner piece okay and then I'm gonna start sewing the inner piece to the outer piece but I want to make sure that you won't be able to see the stitches on the back side of my piece okay now I will weave that in in a minute <laughs> okay so I'm going to just take the yarn the needle and put it underneath a few of the little strands but make sure that you won't be able to see that yarn in the back okay and I'll do that all the way around my ear piece to attach the inner ear to the outer ear and see you can't see the stitch on the back side okay so I'm gonna work on that like I said, just picking up a little bit of the yarn, this little little bit of the yarn from the the outer ear, okay, and then coming up back up through the inner ear, like that. 
okay and so I'm going to do that all the way around until my inner ear is attached to my outer ear okay I already did this I already did one of them see okay so uh, continue working on that stitching your inner ear to your outer ear and like I said just pick up a little bit of the yarn underneath there so that way your stitches won't show from from the back you won't see any of the pink okay and then also weave in this remaining tail that's at the top of your outer ear okay and then I will meet you up back up when you get both of those done just press pause and, and get those both of those stitched together and then I will meet you back up okay okay so I got the ears all finished the inner ear sewed onto the outer ear piece and all the tails weaved in okay so going on to the last piece that we need to crochet we're going to make the nose so I'm taking my pink yarn and my small hook the smaller hook okay and we are going to attach the yarn to our hook with a slip knot and we're going to chain six one two three four five six okay okay so I got my chain six going on to the first row we are going to do one single crochet in the second chain from hook and then one single crochet in each chain across and we're going to have five single crochets okay so in the second chain from the hook we're going to do a single crochet okay and then now we're going to go do four more single crochets in the four remaining chains across that uh, piece the piece right there so one two, three, and four. Okay, so we have a total of five single crochets across the first row. Okay, going on to row two, we are going to chain one and turn, and we are going to do a single crochet two together into the first two stitches, just like the way we've been doing that when we did on the ears, okay? So we did a single crochet, two together in the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, my tail out of the way, and in the last two stitches we're going to do two single crochets together, okay? Uh, single crochet, two together. <laughs> okay so now we have three stitches across at the end of row two okay going on to row three we're going to chain one and turn and now we're going to do a single crochet three together to finish off so we're just going to insert our hook into the first stitch draw up a loop insert our hook into the second stitch draw up a loop insert our hook into the third stitch draw up a loop okay we have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all four loops okay and so that gives us a point to our nose okay and then now we're gonna fasten off but leave a little tail to allow you to be able to sew the nose on okay Need my scissors leave a good sized tail chain one and then pull your yarn all the way through to fasten off okay so there is our nose okay so let's go ahead and weave this tail in the beginning tail just hide it within the nose and trim it off just take it around the back like that and trim off the excess okay and now we are going to take our basket and I've already folded it down but what you're going to do is you're going to take your basket you're going to fold it down okay like a cuff to the outside of your basket see that okay and you want to have a your measuring tape handy so then you can measure I know it's real close to the camera let's see um, you want this oops wrong side <laughs> you want this to be 
two and a half inches, okay? You want that cuff to come down two and a half inches from the top. And just, so fold your basket down and then use your tape measure and measure around several different places all the way on your, around your basket to make sure that that cuff is equal and that it's two and a half inches, okay? Okay, so once you get your basket uh, all folded or cuffed down, uh, find the seam. I can see I have a seam there. That's my back seam. So I want to put that at the back of my basket. Okay. And now we're going to take our nose and we're going to sew the nose on. Okay. So take your nose piece, uh, yarn up your needle with the tail that you left to do, uh, to sew it in. Okay. And then it says to sew the nose in position and just refer to the picture in the, I'm going to do this a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, just refer to the picture, but in the picture it shows that the nose is at the very bottom of where the cuff is, okay? So I'm going to uh, just sew it on. And I'm only sewing it on to the, the top layer, just to that cuff layer, I guess you'd say. And you want to work all the way around sewing, stitching your nose onto your piece. Okay, so let me get this stitched on and then I will meet you back up when I'm ready to go on to the next step. Okay, so I got my nose sewed on and I just finished it under the back side of the cuff, okay, finished it, uh, fastened off and weaved in the ends, okay, the end, one end. <laughs> so here's my nose. Okay, so now we're going to get put the eyes in, okay. So I'm going to use some 12 millimeter eyes that I have. I'm reaching over here to get them, sorry. <laughs> okay, and so the pattern calls for six millimeter eyes, but I have a um, set of safety eyes that are several different sizes. And so I just went through my safety eyes and I decided that I like the look of the larger eyes instead of the uh, six millimeter eyes. Um, so that's what I'm going for. So um, you may want to consider using uh, larger eyes if you prefer instead of six millimeter, okay? So I'm just referring to the picture as far as where to put my safety eyes in. Um, I'm just kind of counting down from the top, just uh, the different stitches. Like I said, just looking at the picture. So at the picture, I'm counting down, let's see, it looks like one, two, three, maybe the fourth row, uh, the fourth hole, stitching hole down, okay? And the eyes seem to be uh, kind of, little wider than where the nose is like a couple of stitches over possibly so let me try one stitch over and see if I like that so one two three and four about right there okay and I'm just poking my eye in there to see how I like it my other one and then I, I I'm looking at the picture I see there's one two three four five I have five stitch holes that I can see just by looking in the picture so I'm gonna do that on my basket here one two three four five so I'm gonna go in the next one okay and then I'm gonna look at my face and see how I like that and feel free to adjust the spacing of your eyes uh, to, if you think you want them in a different spot, okay? But I think I like that okay. I could move up one just to see if I like it, the eyes further up. You just adjust the eyes into the spot you think you like. And you can even take one of your ears and hold it like that to see if it's in the right spot or if you think it's too close to the ears. Okay. Okay. So once you get your eyes in the position that you're wanting, then you're going to take the backs, the safe, the back pieces of the eyes, and you snap them on just underneath that cuff. You don't have to go through both layers of your basket. Okay. Just go underneath the first layer, just that cuff layer, and go ahead and snap the backs 
onto the posts of your safety eyes. Now you can uh, crochet eyes or embroidery eyes if you don't have safety eyes, that's perfectly fine, okay? So let me go ahead and get my eyes attached and I will be right back. Okay, I got my eyes attached and I'm gonna go ahead and sew in my whiskers now to give him some personality. <laughs> okay, so I took a long strand of my white yarn, okay, and I yarned my needle and I'm just referring to the picture. Now, in the picture, it shows you can do the daisy chain stitch. I believe that's what they're doing, and there is a uh, instruction on the um, in the pattern where you can do that. I am not very good at the daisy chain stitch, so I'm just going to do some uh, long stitches to make the whiskers coming up from the bottom underneath this cuff piece, and I'm just referring to the picture as far as where the whiskers are. Um, and uh, but if you want to do the that uh, chain stitch uh, embroidery stitch then uh, feel free to do that okay so going up from the bottom I'm just going to uh, pick a hole to come up that's on the side of the nose on both sides okay because I want the whiskers to come um, out or both whiskers to come out the same hole is what how it shows in the picture okay so just like a stitch over uh, you can either go through one of the stitch holes or you can go through just in the middle of a stitch. I hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to come up and I'm going to leave a tail at, at underneath there so that I can tie it off when I get finished. And then it looks like the whisker, just referring to the picture, it looks like it's going up two rows of stitches. One, two, maybe up that far. Okay. Um, and just count and see how many stitches over. One, two, three. It looks like four stitches over approximately and up about that far. Okay. Uh, I mean, as far as two more, two rows up. So one, two, three, four, about, about right there, possibly. Um, but I'm looking and I don't think, I think it needs to be closer to the eye. So just like I said, refer to the picture about right there and I'm going to just put my needle in there pull it down see just make a big stitch okay and then I'm going to take go up through the same hole that I started in to make my second whisker come through that same opening or the stitch or whatever and then you the the bottom whisker looks like it's going straight across so I'm just gonna kinda do even with where that whisker is sorry if I didn't stay in the camera well it's kinda <laughs> and awkward to hold it like this okay so like that see okay and now I'm going to um, go ahead and bring my needle over uh, you can cut and tie your piece if you prefer uh, I guess I'll do that. So, fold it over like uh, I folded it up so I can see the underside of the cuff. I'm going to cut my yarn a little bit here, and then I'm just going to kind of tie these ends together in a double knot to secure it. I don't want to tie them real tight because I don't want the the stitch to look real tight and stretched in the front. Okay, like that. And then you can just cut them short. And like I said, if you don't like all that underneath, you can weave in those ends. But this is going to be all folded over, so I'm not going to um, worry about the underneath part that much. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do my second whisker, just like I did the first whisker. Okay, on, this, on the other side. Okay, so I got my face, my whiskers secured onto my bunny. Okay. I think he's looking really cute. <laughs> so let's go ahead and tie, uh, sew on the ears, okay? So I got a long strand of the same buff color that I used for the body of the basket. And get one of my ears. And it looks to me, just referring in the picture, it looks to me like the ears, the ears are, um, let me push this down this way so then you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, the ears are gathered together, okay? So you can do that with your yarn needle by just uh, pinching them together like that. Kind of make like a W. <laughs> and uh, 
sewing those together if you want that to have a, a gathered effect. Um, and it's up to you as far as how much you want it to be uh, gathered or, you know, crinkled like that, okay? But I think it looks cute gathered together. Uh, just put a few stitches in there across that piece to uh, secure that gather together, okay? Just like that. And then you want to take your basket and you want to place it, uh, place the ears, it looks like they're on the outer area of the eyes, okay, like that. The instruction doesn't say uh, where to put them, so you can just kind of refer to the picture. Now you can use pins uh, to pin in the ears, like that, you know, to pin them in. Um, to kind of give you an idea of where you're wanting to place the ears. You know, you can fix fix one and then uh, go and um, get the other ear prepared. Get that pinned in, see, like that. And that way you can kind of figure out the placement of where you're wanting the ears, okay? So let me go ahead and do that. And uh, like I said, once you get them pinned in, you know, pinned in where you're wanting them, then you're just going to um, take the yarn needle and your yarn, the same color of the basket, and you're just going to uh, stitch that piece in to the inside of the basket, okay, I mean, each ear, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, secure my ears, and then I will come back and we will work on the uh, his fluffy little tail that goes in the back, okay. So uh, let me get these connect uh, attached on and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got my ears secured on. I raised up the camera a little bit, so that way maybe you can see more of the whole basket, okay? So that is my basket so far. Now all I have to do now is do the pom-pom uh, for his tail and the back. And we are going to attach it to the bottom part, not the cuff. Here we've been working on the cuff area, but when we put the tail on, we're going to attach it to the very bottom, the base, you know, you want to make sure when you set it down that the the pom-pom will rate, rest on the table. It's not going to be hanging down below the basket, uh, but you want to attach it to the bottom, this bottom layer. Okay, so uh, now if you have a pom-pom maker, feel free to do that. I have a clover pom-pom maker that I uh, I like to use, uh, but if you don't have a pom-pom maker, then uh, there are instructions in the pattern on how to make the pom-pom just with your hands, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that, so that way uh, you can see how that is done. Okay, so it says to use your, I'm going to use my white yarn, and it says to wrap around four fingers approximately 60 times around your hand, okay? And then uh, you will remove your fingers and tie in the center tightly. So first one I'm going to do is go ahead and cut a long length of yarn that I will use to tie it and also I will you also use that to tie to um, the basket okay so I'll set that aside and now I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to start wrapping around four fingers okay and it says to do that 60 approximately 60 times okay so I just wrapped 60 times around my hand now I'm going to take my crochet hook put it underneath there uh, underneath all of the yarn and I'm going to hook on this yarn that the yarn strand that I cut to tie I'm going to hook that on to my crochet hook and I'm going to pull one end if I can do that one-handed <laughs> uh, pull one end there through yeah to get my tail underneath there okay so now I'm going to uh, pull off carefully pull off all the strands of yarn off my hand, okay, just like that. I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to cut uh, off that it's still attached to the skein, I'm going to disconnect from that, okay. So now I'm going to take the two tails, the, t the tail that I pulled through there, and I'm going to tie that in a knot, just like that, okay, and you want to tie it pretty tightly. And then go ahead and t do a double knot. Okay. 
okay and now I'm going to wrap around the back side okay turn it over wrap around and then wrap around the whole entire back side with a double knot as well try to get in the middle okay and also do a double knot Okay, just like that. And then you can wrap it around the middle again, around to the other side, if you want to uh, do secure it once more. Okay, now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut through the loops um, on both sides to release uh, and start creating my pom-pom, uh, okay? Just like that. Make sure I don't cut the two tail that I, the two tails that I have that I'm gonna use to uh, attach it to my basket. Okay, just like that. Just release those loops, okay, and then turn it over and do the other side. Just like that, and just uh, make sure that you've cut all those loops. You find if you find any more, you have to go back and cut them. Okay, okay. So I just kind of shake it, and then I start kind of trimming the ones, the strands that are longer. I'm trying to get them where they're. Uh, the same um, the same length you know and just kind of shaping it into a ball try to uh, tame the wild ones <laughs> okay so you keep doing that until you have uh, the pom-pom looking the way that you like it Okay, so I'm going to keep trimming on mine a little bit more, and then when I get it to where I like it, I will uh, come back and we will attach it to the back of our basket. Okay. Okay, so I got my pom-pom um, trimmed pretty well. Like I said, I'm not the best at making pom-poms, but anyway. So the what you're going to do now is you're going to take the, the strands that you used uh, to tie your pom-pom together. You want to find the center back uh, of your basket, just wherever the, um, here, <laughs> like you want the tail to be between like where the, the ears are in the back, okay? So I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to pull these sorry pull these strands through to uh, get the ties to the inside you can do it use a yarn needle and do the same thing just uh, maybe pull the other tail a couple of stitches over you know like one stitch over from where the other one went in just like that and then go to the inside and I'm just gonna tie mine You can tie it and weave in your ends if you prefer to do that. Or you can just tie it in a double knot and um, make sure that it's where you're wanting it. I can always go back and trim it a little bit more. Okay. And then uh, go ahead and tie it in a double knot to secure it inside there. Okay. 
like that. And then I'll probably just cut it off short. And, and like I said, you can um, weave in your ends. You can do that, hide your tails up, you know, inside the stitches. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so there is my bunny basket. <laughs> I think it's so cute, look, <laughs> with the little tail at the back. So cute. Okay, so I will take care of that tail in there. But anyway, so thanks guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this. I think it's so cute and it's going to be such a cute decoration for Easter. Uh, you could crochet some Easter eggs, which would be cute, and stuff them and then put them in your basket. That would be really cute. There are several tutorials that you can find online that that are free that you can just, you know, uh, just put it in here in YouTube and... Um, to uh, tutorials to guide you through making an Easter egg. Uh, use some cute variegated pastel colored yarn would be cute I think. Or you could just, you could put flowers in here, you know, you could uh, fill it with, uh, or you, oh, you, you could also put washcloths, you know, roll up washcloths and have this in the bathroom. I think that would be really cute. And then of course you don't have to just use it for Easter. You could use it in a nursery, you put diapers in there or, you know, the, changing supplies it would be really cute I think and you could also use it for a yarn bowl I think anyway multiple uses <laughs> so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and um, we will see you in the next tutorial bye guys